Okay, I got a new camera. I'm trying to learn how to use it properly. <laughs> so if I keep looking up, it's because I got a new camera. I'm still trying to figure it out. The screen's above, so bear with me while I figure out my new equipment. Let's get started here. First of all, I was not expecting my first video to get that many views that fast. So thank you to everybody who watched. I actually made a little short version to put on TikTok to see if I could get some traffic onto my new channel. But somebody commented and asked me if I could make Hermione's one. Shouldn't be too hard, except for all the little details. So I have rosewood, although it is kind of warped. I think it's rosewood. It said rosewood on it, but oh, I'm excited for this one. All right, I did a little bit of my research, so I found out Hermione Granger's wand was 10 and 3 quarter inches long, made of vine wood, and possessed a dragon heartstring core. I have this wood. It's either rosewood or mora. I don't know. I don't care. It's pretty and it's gonna work. My picture is a little bit big, but this will work perfectly. It's 10 and 3 quarters. I'm a very unconventional woodworker. I only have a handful of cheap tools. And to be honest, I don't know what half of them are supposed to be used for, but I know the ones that I like. So this is for entertainment purposes only. I like the scraper. Okay, I figured it out. This wood is mora, but that's okay. We'll just pretend that it's fine wood. From this day forth, you put your faith in me. It's a circle. Okay, let's see, here. Okay, so, oh no, I might have to make it a teeny bit longer. Oh, I gotta take the corners off. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. It's right on the freaking edge, but hey, it works and it's my project, so if it's not perfect, I don't care. Turning it into a cone will be easy, but I'm gonna keep the base thicker than the tip needs to be so I can have extra material to go in with the Dremel tool to carve in the little vines. That's gonna take forever, but that's gonna be the most satisfying part. Thanks. One, two, three. No. <laughs> this is coming out great so far. Check this out. Here we are. I have the shape done. Here we go. This tapers off and there's no vine there, so this is already done. I just gotta chop it. This is staying that thickness, but it is thinner, so I have plenty of material to take off with the Dremel tool. Don't forget the nice wrist movement we've been practicing. Mm -hmm. The swish and flick. Everyone, wish and flick. Okay, here's what it's looking like so far. Let's get the bottom cut off. I'm not a wizard. Here is the main body of the wand. Let me measure it. I think it's the right length. Ten and three quarters. I amaze myself sometimes. Holy crap. Literally right on the freaking dot. Ten and three quarters. Yes. Now for the hard part, except I don't remember where I put the wand. Oh, there it is. This is the part that's gonna take a million freaking years. Now I was looking at this design of this wand and it looks like there's one main vine that spirals up like that. And it looks like, let's see, it wraps around once, then twice, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight main spiral part coming from the base two thirds of the way up. I got the eight vines going up and I got most of those, the little leaves coming off the vines in the right places. Here is the rough sketch for the outline of the vines. Now this part's gonna take a million years, so uh, I'm just gonna speed through that real quick. took so freaking long, but I have the main shape of the vine and leaves. Yeah! I'm gonna switch the Dremel tool bits to a pointy one so I can put the little detail in there. Hermione's wand is finished. 
Oh, it came out so good. <laughs>